and I'm like, hi, did I just break my shoulder? And you're like, uh, it doesn't look good. Do you need help, eh? Loading up the car is rocket science for these two. You guys got it there? I'll just put it on top. Have you traveled before? I don't think I've seen you on a poster in Alaska on a sub. Trying to figure out how to put boards in this little blue machine here that will get us to the surf. The beach. To the beach. To the actually. We gotta pick up two more though. There's no beach. I think three to, more. Actually. To the reef. To the reef. But we'll okay. all stuff in here. Yeah. Yeah. You, you, got, got, a, you got a great seat, Kai. Yep. I like how you don't even have to look when you pull out here. It's just a straight road. There it is. Is that how you drive? This is how we steer. <laughs> Very it's dangerous. Not <laughs> it's really not fun. It would be interesting seeing if we could fit six people into this miniature Renault. Our driver, Doug Silva. Sketchy. Oh, there they come. Ready to go. Water, shot, board, towel. Yeah. 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 Liquor store. Should we do that now so just in case? Yeah. That's crucial. Yeah, Rin, Dom just gonna go get some beer. And... Back to where we stayed last year. Doug needs to go buy some mineral water. Here we go. Walking into the store. Oh, he noticed us. Paul! Huh? Rana, yes, good to too. see you. So we come for all your mineral water. He wants yeah? to buy all the mineral water, Paul. No more mineral water. Yeah. No more yeah. mineral water. Only, still... uh, only very much water. Yeah. What? I took it all last year. There's the coach getting amped. Hi. Um, fought the current, paddled all the way out to the outside just to feel the current to see how far it had to go out. Check my landmark so it can triple confirm. So I did some reconnaissance work. I felt so strong, so healthy, and so invigorated. I really wanted to catch a really nice wave. I took out your board for the first time to check out the rocker. The rocker felt incredible. Got myself in position for a really nice medium wave. Came off the bottom, little top turn, felt the speed. Sort of kind of had an opening, but not really. And then it was kind of going too fast. Someone was paddling out over the wave. I couldn't fly out and I couldn't quite punch through. I just didn't have the confidence in the board. So I just kind of straightened out a little bit and it was so shallow. It literally like boom, exploded and I laid flat. I'm usually not in this position, but here I am. So I laid as flat as possible, flat as possible and shoulder drove right into a freaking coral head. I heard two cracks like and I'm like, oh my God, I think I just broke my shoulder or my collarbone or something. I came up gratefully, thankfully you were there. And I'm like, hi, did I just break my shoulder? And you're like, uh, it doesn't look good. Do you need help in? And I'm like, I don't know, I think I'm okay. Does it look bad? <laughs> you're like, oh my God, it doesn't look good. I literally, I could like, like, if you ever kiss, try to kiss your shoulder. Like, it's not easy. I could just go like that. It was like right there. Really bad. A little distraught. I, I haven't, I don't get hurt. I haven't been hurt in 20 years. So I was a little, little concerned about like, hmm, what happened? I felt, I trained so much before coming here. Felt super, super confident and uh, was quite surprised that I got hurt. But so it's a good, you know, there's a reason for it. I get to like sit and watch you guys. A little bit of a timeout for me. So it all happened for a reason. Just very blessed that this pool was dug out for me last night so I could have some therapy. So show me what you're doing for therapy. Yeah. The great people of Kia, Kia Ora was uh, kind enough to dig this out for us in front of our beautiful place. So I get to do a great breaststroke. All my students, they're, you know, they, they, they work out. They come to me, they visit me once or twice a year. They tell me, what do I do you know, to improve my paddling? And I think it's the breaststroke that's the most important for paddling. Your, your muscle, your strongest muscles for paddling come from your lats. So it doesn't come from your shoulder. So if you get those lats going, it's great. Throw a rocket in. Yes. Doug's rehabilitation going according to plan. All right, get back in. Uh, we're gonna do three more laps, and you're gonna do the best stroke, the freestyle, and the back stroke. That was your best stroke. Doug's under the idea that salt water is good for cuts, which is entirely untrue. He's like, uh, I beg to differ. I don't think it's good. <laughs> is that the koozie on, yo? <laughs> is that thing on? But the wind's going to be better and better.
right now we're just cruising at our little chalet by the beach. I'm doing some ding repairs. One board is because Doug ran into the reef and blew out his shoulder. The other one is thanks to the airlines for always mistreating surfboards. They Doug is in a hot tub they mistreat, and I- They mistreat your boards, yes. Doug, you're in a hot tub and it's literally 100 degrees outside. It's perfect. It's therapy. I just did my laps and just enjoying the therapy. This is, this is like cold compared to last year. I've already had one casualty yesterday. So sad. I think it's fixable though. I just gotta find the other piece. Might be out there. But when I do, this thing will be back in action. Doug, is it fixable, you think? Yeah, I mean, you could like sand the nose down a bit and use it for like, give it away for a little bodyboard for some of the Rangi Roa. You gonna fix my board? Um, sure, if you want me to. No, I'm gonna fix it. Here, get up. It's my little fixing zone. This is a little sanding always bring, you're coming to Tahiti no matter what, bring your repair kit. It is just crucial to the survival of your trip because if you break all your boards or ding them all, you're not gonna be able to get great waves. And then, this is not an advertisement, but I do have paddle with this pickle wax remover. This thing is awesome because your wax always melts and uh, you're surfing a lot. So, got my little kit here and I'm gonna just be sanding away for a couple hours. One day, the goal is to have enough money you could bring a ding repair guy with you around the world. But right now, I'm the ding repair guy. Wow, look how beautiful it is right now. Oh my gosh. I think my wax is melted already. Oh, Doug doing some rehabilitation on his wounded wing. Yeah, look, you can just see the salt infecting your arm right now. <laughs> Doug's- Kai's Tahitian tattoo work. We did a tattoo earlier. And this and is my that other is tattoo. the Tahitian tattoo. Look, look, it just looks so inflamed from well, being in the salt It just water. got, like, yeah, it got activated. It's awesome. It's good. So far, the trip's been insane. Just uh, in between contest heats and surfing really good waves. It's just been so much fun being back in Tahiti. The waves have been all time. And, I mean, if you look around me, the water is just unbelievable. Just so next level. Staying here on Rangiroa. Where we're staying here on Rangiroa is the Kia Ora Resort. Pretty beautiful over here. Last year we were sort of slumming it. It was the closest thing to camping. We stayed with a super nice family. Uh, the owner of this liquor store this year made a valiant effort to upgrade a little bit. So we found the nicest possible hotel on this little coral reef rock. Much more comfortable and unreal. So, I mean, this water's insane. I just like cruising out here. I'm gonna probably get in the water again, obviously. <laughs> There's not much else to do here, except for go surfing or sit right where I am right now.